It was that time of the year when we celebrate, share best wishes, make the same plans and promises which for years we have been consistently breaking. I got messages from friends wishing me on the new year for which I responded after a day. Totally unacceptable. And I have no new year resolutions which I know is a crime. I still seem to be stuck in 2022. Even though a newborn year is still new to the world, we would have already wished for to 2023. I know you're going to be amazing and so much better than 2022. That's too much pressure on it just born. A bicycle ride is one of the best ways to explore a new place. Especially one like Pondicherry where you can keep pedaling your way through its morning streets in vibrant colours. Kids on their way to schools, people on their way to work and early tourists making the most of empty selfie spots. You see them until they disappear into the back of the view. You can spend years with people without knowing them any better than these random strangers. The morning had a bright ambience to it and having a glimpse of these moments from a moving bicycle with a light morning breeze made it all even better. Okay. Cycle not allowed, right? Inside. Cycle and Sure. Cycle <laughs> Okay. It's okay. Here we go. Thank you. And after spending many hours exploring the city, I finally got to see and be at the beach and its shoreline. As much as it was refreshing, there was something else that I liked more. Rather than watching the sea which was right behind me, I was attracted to its reflection in these windows with the rainbowish filter. It wasn't real. It was putting on an act. I was falling for it. It knew that already and it was playing me. Beware of who gets such control. Not all windows are worth the time. And this is one of my favorite spots in Pondicherry. Something about this house, its plants, the colors of its walls and how it shone in the morning sun and the absence of human interference had me pause here for a while. Whenever I liked a corner or a frame, I stopped, took the view in and then froze the same on camera. I think we came to another dead end. Another advantage of randomly exploring a place is the possibility of taking random turns and ending up at beautiful places. Walking through the same turns would take us nowhere new. It is only when we learn to act different do we see different and hopefully better results? Mm, this way. This way. Way to Pondy Marina Bridge. I saw more cows in this part of the world than humans. And a quiet and neat beach with hardly any people cannot be passed without a visit. And like the waves of the sea, Try to rise and rise above the human noise, above the superficialities of stupid egoistical thinking of yours as well as the others. I should have gone back to the hostel by then, but I kept going further and another random turn brought me here. If only I could paint, I would have sat down and sketched this lake with its docked boats, the swans flying not so high from its water, and the reflections that are being muddled by its feeble ripples. There is so much to do out in the world, and don't let silly people's petty issues stop you from looking and being. Boating. Boating? Uh, inside. Not here? Uh, not here. Not here, uh, okay. Huh. Only in the road. Okay. Trees, no? Uh, no. No. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I think I'm done. I don't have the energy anymore. That's me only a couple of minutes after my return journey had started. And it was only then did I realize how far I had come. The pedaling resumed after a short break. And the meaning of the bell translates to 
I'm here and don't run me over. You're on your own and you have to be vigilant. You don't need a map to take random turns, but you need one when you have to find your way back from them. Thanks to Google Maps, which was in no mood for surprises that morning, I reached the hostel. And you heard that. It was time to check out the hostel and also leave Pondicherry. But the later had to wait until I tried this gelato someone recommended on Reddit, which we'll do in the next story. And I almost forgot. Wish you a very happy new year and don't be too hard and demanding on the newborn yet. See you soon in the next story and take care.